Hi everyone, my name is Jak and welcome to another episode. Yes, you guessed it, for Avoria Prime Reviews for 2024. This time we will be talking about the month of March. And um, make sure to watch this video to the end. Of course, press like, press subscribe. Before we get into the actual results, uh, there's something that um, I wanted to talk about. You see, I have this book here in the corner. At first it was lying down like this here when I was just setting up the call. And I was like, okay, what's this in the corner here? It's this book. It's actually the book that got me started with uh, all this stuff, uh, trading, investing. I actually started with investing into loans first. And uh, in 2007, eight, I also actually tried the, the Forex markets for the first time. That was just before the, um, the, the last crash. And I was also uh, investing into stocks back then. I got out scratch free with profit actually. I was, uh, I don't know, just lucky or smart enough to, uh, to take profit before everything uh, went to shit. And with this book, Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker, this really changed the way I look at investments. This really uh, changed the way that I look at money. And it helped me a lot. Why I'm showing you this book is because I'm sure that uh, you would get benefit out of reading this book. Also, um, if you haven't read any financial literature before, then this is a really good read. And even if you are very um literate if you're really smart about money you have read all kinds of different stuff then this this book is a must because it talks about the psychology it talks about um actually also your family uh, heritage regarding thinking about money and it can really have a big impact and it's also packed full of um, practical stuff actually so make sure to read this book now let's go and start talking about uh, results. We have Kratos, we have Kratos X, we have Flash and we have Gearbox. So these are all the EAs. What an EA is, it's an expert advisor. So it's a program. It's a, like an AI based program that runs on a VPS. It's connected to a, a trading account, your trading account, your personal trading account or your business trading account, whatever. And it has access to only give it, giving it commands to execute trades and close trades. It doesn't have any way to withdraw money or to put uh, more money into it. So you don't have to worry about uh, Kratos, Kratos X, Flash or Gearbox uh, doing a rug pull with your money, basically leaving you empty handed. Of course, it's still possible just by using, let's say, very risky settings on your account, losing money that way. But as you can see here, all these accounts are up. And the way I get these numbers, I'm not pulling these numbers out of my ass, actually. Um, I have a system. I'm observing different public and private accounts using my FX book and making analysis. So with Kratos, where this, this number actually comes from. So with Kratos, where I'm getting the results is actually my personal account. It's been running since May of last year and it has made about 41%. Let's see if uh, we can hit 50% when one year is full, which is uh, in about a month. It's, it's actually less than a month now. Let's see. Probably it's not going to happen looking the way it mark the market is going, but uh, who knows? Miracles do happen sometimes. Anyway, so what I do is since it's March that I'm going to be reporting, I'm going to be choosing the period from beginning of this year up to end of March, last day of March, press analyze and here you will see 5.91% for that period from uh, 1st of January up to end of March and as you can see here this is exactly the numbers I have here from January up to end of March 5.98% and for the month of March 2.51% profit which is the number that I have here also. So this is where these numbers are coming from. With Kratos X, um, maybe you have really good memory and uh, you can say that, okay, last, last month he was showing some different numbers here. Yes, I was uh, observing a different account. I decided to switch to this account because um, the other account that I was showing is a test account, a demo test account that is running settings that are not your classical type of settings. So because the idea behind these calls is to give the person um, the most balanced view possible about using these different softwares. 
and systems that AP has on offer. So I decided to use an actual live account that is being uh, run and uh, not managed too much. So it's actually the result of the software. Last month it made 5.43% and from the beginning of January up to end of March it made about 16.5%. Flash did 4.2% last month which added up 12.78% since the beginning of the year which is also a really good result with Gearbox. Gearbox has been kind of slow because the markets have not been the most favorable for the Gearbox algo. Gearbox did 1.76% from beginning of the year up to end of March. It adds up to 12.48%, which is actually on par with Flash, which is not bad at all. Next, we talk about social trading. In March, we had Fingo Pro 2 and Fingo Pro 5. Fingo Pro 2 made 3% profit, but this. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Fingo Pro 2 is actually no more because um, if you haven't noticed, gold has been going really, really crazy. Let me show you what's going on with gold. So as you can see here, the current gold price is 2,395. 2, Let's see, one year. In one year, gold has gone up. Um, 18% in five years it has gone up 83% which is kind of crazy actually as you can see here this is insane so we have the month of March beginning of March was here the price was 2044 and since then it has been going up and up and up and it doesn't doesn't look like it wants to come down anytime soon and unfortunately um, this uh, Unfortunately, the Fingo Pro 2 was just trading cold, and now it's uh, no more. It happened in the in it happened in the first days of April that Fingo Pro 2 got uh, hit by a margin call. This is a good reminder that as long as the system is making profit, make sure to actually take profit to minimize your risks. And uh, I understand if people have small accounts, they just first want to get the full benefits of compounding, uh, so it increases. Uh, the value of the account and then sooner or later they will start taking actual profit but this is you have to bear in mind that this is also risky it's there's always going to be risks in the forex markets it's sad what happened to Fingo Pro 2 but this is a really good lesson about uh, trying to trade gold because gold is very unpredictable it has been very unpredictable and those months where um, the trader was making 14 15 percent a month uh, it was reasonable to take out the profits because 14 to 15 percent a month profit is actually uh, crazy high i would say it means also that uh, the risks are higher and the higher the, the risk on a system the more sense it makes to take out profit because you never know what's gonna happen next with fingo pro 5 in march fingo pro 5 made a little over half a percent and since the beginning of January up to end of March, it made 6.74% profit, which is actually uh, pretty good. Now we talk about Crypto Advantage, John Wick Signals and also Radar. Dart is still sitting in deep drawdown. I don't have much more information about it. John Wick Signals, if, you, if somebody started with a $1,000 account in the beginning of March, they would have made 12.2% if they had kept their trades all the way up to the different TPs that the John Wick data uh, shows. Of course, this is kind of hypothetical in the sense because uh, people manage their trades in a different way. Maybe somebody got more percentage. Maybe somebody who's using John Wick signals got uh, less percentage depending on when they close their trades and what kind of uh, lot size they are using. This is 0 0.01 lots per 1,000. And since the beginning of this year up to end of March, if somebody had followed all the trades with 0 0.01 lots per 1,000, they would have been up 67%. As I said, I don't know if somebody actually did 67% or not. If you are somebody who's using John Wick signals, uh, just leave it in the comments what kind of results uh, you are seeing, what you are getting. With Radar, as you know, Radar is kind of an extension of John Wick signals in the sense that it automates the John Wick signals. When the signal comes in, Radar just executes it and then starts 
managing it itself. It, it's not closed when any of the John Wick signal trades are closed. It's actually closes trades depending on what settings have been set up, what TPs, what trailing. And now, since Radar got an update, also partials are in play. So Radar did 3.74. So Radar did, so Radar took a loss for, for the month of March. It was also the first full month where Radar was running. This is a really good reminder that it is not possible to time the market. Whatever system you're using, whatever strategy you're using, it is not possible to um, time the market. And all the AP products are built to make profit in the long run. Why is that? Because they have to be robust enough to um survive big market moves they have to be built well enough that you don't have to go and adjust them all the time because most of the users of ap products don't have any prior experience with trading and even if somebody has experience with trading they expect these systems to run uh, automatically 95 percent of the time uh, without needing to go and adjust the settings uh, all the time on a weekly basis. So this is how it is. Let's see how the next months will be going. The, we can actually start making any kind of conclusions about Radar when the first half year has passed. So this would be in uh, September, something like that. August, September, we can start talking about if Radar is uh, worth anything or not. So this is it for the month of March. I hope you enjoyed this video, of course, as I said, go click and subscribe uh, and like the video. If there is any topics regarding Forex that you want to uh, be covered, just leave a comment and let's see if we can make it happen. Until next time.